Welcome back guys. We're out here on the lake. It's 44 degrees. It's pretty much dead of winter. So we're gonna see if we can catch bass in the winter and get it on a good bite. Before we get started with today's episode, let's check out today's sponsor, hooktocook.shop. Remember in the last video, Daniel drew this awesome trout? Well, he framed it as a gift and now you could have a piece of it for yourself. We're taking pre-orders now. We've also changed who we make our shirts with, and so far, the crew is very happy with the quality of the shirts and prints. Order them at hooktocook.shop. Thank you all for your continued support, especially in 2021, and let's make it a great 2022. Especially in winter fishing, these bass like to school up in areas and then come up to feed and then go back down to where they were resting. But if you can get one or two to bite, it can really create a feeding frenzy. So that's really what we're hoping for today. Right, Bob? Yes, sir. I'm still marking them, so. And I just felt, the, I just got bumped right now. So I don't think it's gonna be long. It's just a matter of getting a couple to bite and it'll activate that whole school and we'll be able to mop up some fish here. Ooh. One. Wake them up, buddy. Wake up. Wake them up. All right, that's a start. On the drop shot. On the drop shot. Get that first one, get one or two, it might wake up that whole school. So let's see if we can, we can wake them up and get them. That fish was all pressure, didn't feel nothing, just got heavy and I felt a little bit of pull and I set the hook. All pressure there. That's it. Buddy. Another one? Wake up that school, bro. It's all about making them think it's a feeding time. But when you're catching them this deep, you should play them. That way they don't get bear trauma on the way up if you bring them up too fast. I'll grab the net. Oh, he's Cody. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's a wake, chunk. Wake him up, that's buddy. That's a chunk. Wake him up, buddy. That's how you wake him up. Get that school to activate, man. It's all about catching those first couple fish. And then you get them into a feeding frenzy. They think it's feeding time, bro. Yeah. Dude. Edward. <laughs> yeah, Bob says I should be drop shotting. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's drop shot. Your niece? Yeah. Huh. Whose daughter? Wow. Oh, there you go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Dude, they're fucking here. You're right. Huh? You're right. It's all about just waking them up, dude. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No barrel trauma for you. You. You're happy. Oh. Your boy got one. Yes. It just feels good to be on a bass bite, you know? So we've been doing perch and we've been doing trout. And a good bass bite in the wintertime is kind of a, a rare treat outside of, uh, you know, doing the pond fishing or anything like that pond fishing has been terrible for us <laughs> it has been it's been so, so bad terrible. thanks good start yeah that is a good start there's another one <laughs> you got them yeah dude they are stacked you're right so you're right about the them firing and you're also right about them really being all bunched up together. Yeah, they're schooled up, bro. And it's all about just waking them up, man. You just, you get a couple and they, oh, oh shook they, it. they feel like they go in that, like it's feeding time, bro. They see one or two, like moving around all crazy. Like, yeah. what are you guys doing? And they think it's, it's a uh, lunchtime, bro, or breakfast right yeah. now. And they just, they all fire up, man. They all get active. So really this time of year, fishing deep and, Getting the getting them to strike and uh, getting that school to wake up is really really key. Getting those first couple of bites on that spot is really important. 
because like I, like I said, it, uh, it's all about that feeding frenzy and the other fish, they get active. They see the other fish are moving around and think it's free feeding time. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't even need to set it like that. That was aggressive. Sorry, bud. They're coming straight up too. I'm not like wrenching on them or nothing. Gonna jump. Oh, this guy's a little chunk. Ooh. Beautiful winter bass. Dude. It is. So far, it's been the best winter bass bite I've been on. <laughs> I set the hook way too hard on this guy. All right. Thanks, Charles. Charlie Bass? Charlie Bass. Remember Billy Bass? Yeah. All right, so this has been, a, we've been on a good bite so far and Bob's dropped some really good knowledge and hopefully you guys are picking stuff up that you didn't know before. And if you guys are, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, if I could only land one, the last one jumped right off. Oh, dude, why, why are they jumping? Why are they jumping all crazy? I don't know. Why are you complaining? <laughs> Look at that again. Oh, what? he 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 came to the surface and then dove back down. Yeah, we'll do that, buddy. No. I just loosened my drag a little bit to let him run instead of jump, but that didn't quite help. Woo! Very nice. On the drop shot. Thanks, Red. I actually felt that one bite. Yeah, that one didn't just load up. I felt the hit. Bob's on a business call. It happens to everybody, but you know what I mean? But just the way he communicates it sometimes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yep, right out of the boat. I have no drag from pulling myself out of those snags. Oh, what the heck? Snagged a catfish? No, he ate it. A catfish ate it. Oh. You gonna take it home? Nice. You gonna take it home? I might as well. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. That's pretty dope. Got him right in the roof of the mouth. Look at that. Yeah, everything eats the drop shot. Coming home, buddy. Coming home. Catfish for dinner. On the beat up worm. So that bite died down a little bit. So we jetted over to another spot. Bob says that we can hit that spot a little bit later because the fish tend to replenish, right Bob? Yes, sir. But we just moved out to a, a little break out here where it'll break from 20 foot as deep as 65, 70 on this side. But we're trying to sit in that 35, 40 foot zone. That's where the fish have come from. But it's the same deal. We're pulled up out here and uh, basically we need to catch a couple to activate that school and put them into a feeding frenzy. So uh, getting the first couple bites is pretty key. And once we can get a first couple bites, it'll wake up the fish and uh, hopefully we'll we'll get on a good school again. So uh, we'll see what happens here. There you go. They're awake. They're waking up. Just like Bob said, winter bass. Oh, he's a good one. <laughs> yep. Just like Bob said, catch one, get him to fire. See you later, Frank. 
No, the funny part is like these bass, <laughs> they see their buddy eat one and then their buddy disappears <laughs> and it makes them want to eat more. That's, that's fascinating. <laughs> if those were people, they'd be like, oh crap, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Unless you want to disappear. We're right on that break. Yeah, just goes to show how like if you can pay attention to the contours of the bottom, it helps you really put something together where you can dial it in. I didn't even show you guys the rig. Quarter ounce drop shot weight, about one foot of line between your hook and your weight, and then a nose hooked robo worm. And right on cue, Mr. Bob is on a fish with the same exact rig that I was just showing you. If it's peeling, stop reeling. It's not fighting. It's not fighting, dude. It was a stick. Uh, <laughs> it's not fighting, bro. <laughs> I have peeled no tug. <laughs> Oh yeah? But down deep, dude, 38 foot, man. Oh, careful. Hmm. That's where I'm getting bit. I cast up the shallower stuff and they're not there. They're here, bro. I'm out here. In the middle of the channel, 40 foot. Well, that wasn't so bad for wintertime bass fishing at all. It was a really good day. Ended up okay. catching like number three between us, maybe 25, 26 fish. We didn't find any trout, but we did find a catfish. <laughs> Little bonus. But ultimately it was like all about the drop shot, Breaking 40 feet, 45 seal. feet in that zone. <laughs> so that's how that's how Bob figured him out. He's actually been fishing here at Kachuma for a long time, so he knows where all the structure is. But it does help to have a certain depth dialed in so you can go to different spots of the lake and test out around that depth especially around winter time and that was really cool how whenever we caught like one or two they would really fire off and that one or two would become four and five so guess you give that a shot we're done for the day thanks for watching hope you guys found something useful in this video we'll catch you guys on the next one yeah, sometimes if the bite shuts off, leave, fish somewhere else, and then come back. Come back. Oh, I'm getting hit too.